I'm here for you, son. I love you, Freddy. I do consider you my son. I just want you to don't know. Don't call me son. I don't need a daddy, man. I don't need a mentor or even a friend. Spence, I, I need just... a damn coach. That is it. Somebody who's going to do whatever it takes to win and get me to the NFL. That is all I can count on, and that Negro ain't you. I should have listened to those coaches at TNT in Toledo. All they cared about was the game. I'm done wasting my time with you, man. And GAU football. So consider this my official notice. I'm entering the portal. Sometimes it feels like anger. And that was my epiphany today. It's time to bring your dream backyard to life, and you can create the ultimate escape with living spaces and our outdoor collections. We'll get you everything. Cool. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why didn't you send that call to voicemail? Why does it matter? It matters because you hesitated to decline it and then you went somewhere else. Look, maybe that's enough for today's session, okay? No, 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 no. No more hiding, Spencer. It's a damn call, Doc. It's a damn voicemail, all right? No, it's not. There's something more there. Leave you know? me alone, all right? Why can't y'all just leave me alone, all right? Spencer, you can't run from this. Don't run from it. Look, this is why we're doing the work. Maybe I don't want to do the work, Doc. Okay, man. I declined Coach Baker's call. Maybe if I'd have picked up the damn phone, I could have changed things. I could have kept him off that bus. I could have kept him alive. But instead, all I got is a reminder of how I failed him, man. You did not fail him. Yes, I no, did. No, you did not fail him. Weird to think you're gonna be renting this place out. Ugh. Uh. That's assuming I find decent tenants in between finishing up at South Crenshaw and getting your brother settled into Oakland. Yeah. What are your plans for today? AD Barnes asked me to come in. This is about you leaving GAU? He didn't say. But I wanted to talk to him about speeding up my transfer approval anyway. Spencer, when you came back to Oakland with me, and told me that you needed to decompress from L.A., I understood. But it's been a week. You just can't sit around. I'm not, no. But coaches can't reach out to me until I'm in the transfer portal, which I'm hoping to make happen today if 80 wants to play ball. As long as transferring is what you really want to do. It is. I'm, I'm ready to get on with it. You know, I'm not above buying ice cream for my clients to keep them talking. <laughs> well, I ain't above being bra. You know, shortly after he came back, Pops brought me and Dylan here. Guess he wanted to get in some bonding time, you know? And how was that day? It was great. It was hot. Yeah. He bought us ice cream to cool off, but it started melting so fast, he had to turn it into an ice cream eating contest. <laughs> he did? <laughs> Who won? Nobody, man. We all got brain free. Wow. You know, it seems that uh, despite the anger you felt over Corey leaving you when you were young, you seem to have built up some really good memories when he came back into your life. Yeah. Wasn't enough time, though. I blinked and he was gone again. How do you feel about his passing? At least I got to say goodbye. You okay, Liv? Yeah, he's not gonna be there to walk me down the aisle. I'm not gonna get to have a father-daughter dance with him. Through lightning and the thunder, the rain I'm here for you. I will always be here for you. Okay, always. Let's walk you down the aisle. Or dance. Or uh, just be sad with. Okay? We were searching for a lifeline. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. Um, there's actually 
something I want to tell the both of you, so. I've made a decision about the article. I'm going to attend the award ceremony as Olivia Baker. I'm not going to pretend I didn't write it anymore. It was the last thing I did with Dad. So, win or lose, I'm going to honor the work that we both did. No more aliases. Listen, um, you don't have to worry about the article affecting either of us. We support you 100%. Leaps of faith are scary, and bravery looks different to everyone. To me, bravery looked like the first time that I said out loud I wanted to achieve what I thought was impossible, a career in the NBA. I guess my ancestors were working overtime. <laughs> of course, four championship rings later, I think I achieved my dream, then some. And I continue to honor those who came before me every day of my life by living up to the best that they saw in me. And each nominee here tonight have their own story of bravery, leaps of faith on how they change lives. Stories that will thankfully live on in the articles that they have written. So I am honored to present the award for excellence in sports journalism. And it goes to Jaden Davis. Except I can't move. I think I can help. whom I'd never have written this article. My dad passed away, a f even if he weren't his blood. He encouraged me early on in life to be a change maker and more. Hey, oh. hey. Oh. Oh. Vincent, what are you? You, uh, you probably should have taken two trips. Yeah, well, that's something that caffeinated Liv might have considered, but did you know coffee shops aren't open just because you're awake? I do. <laughs> What's all this? I'm helping Davida set up for tonight's BSU fashion show. That's new. Well, you know, I'm trying to get involved more. Hey, you couldn't have picked a club with more reasonable hours. Not one that would accept Jaden Davis. That's messed up, man. Yeah, well, can't really say I'm surprised, though. And I heard that it came up in the locker room. I'm really sorry about that. But everybody with half a brain knows you exposed Garrett because you care. You did the right thing. Yeah, but I get it, though. You know, they're disappointed because the team that they bled for now has a one-year bull ban. And it's easier to blame the person who put them on that road than Garrett, who's no longer here. Hey, it's all gonna blow over, okay? I promise. Maybe. You sure you don't need some more help? Not unless you know some healthy male models with no plans to... What's up, man? What's up? Y'all ready for some Shakespeare? That's why we in this big-ass auditorium. Yeah, man, to be or not to be on What's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, what he doing here? Right. I thought we was going to a lingerie fashion show. We are. Kind of. What's going on, Spence? The BSU fashion show is tonight. But they short a few male models. So, as a favor to live and the BSU, we're filling in. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to do Jaden Davis a favor? <laughs> That's rich. Hey, yo, putting aside this whole fashion show thing for a minute, me and Sal already told you, we ain't wasting no more time on this clown. Yeah, because if he don't care about GAU football team, that's on him. Hold up. I've played more seasons at GAU than the three of you combined. Yeah, this school is a stop along the way to the NFL for Spencer, and a second chance for you and Sal, but for me, GAU is the last team I'll ever play for. And this team is all I care about. Listen to the man. He's right. I mean, why else would he still be at GAU when he had every reason to leave? I exposed Garrett, and I don't regret it.
but I won't claim that it didn't hurt the team's chances next year. And I'm sorry that it had to be your last year. I appreciate that. Now, I'm not saying I wish Garrett was still here. You know, I certainly didn't want to be one of his crash test dummies. But uh, I'm still not sure what the point of all this is. The point is, everybody here cares about GAU. Sal and Kai have made sacrifices and shown dedication in the short time they've been on this team. And y'all, y'all have shed blood, sweat, and tears for three seasons, man. The only person who's given any reason to doubt their commitment is me. Look, there's a lot of reasons behind my decision to quit this team, but it don't change the fact that I did quit. And I'm sorry about that. But you know why I came back? Because I want to build where everybody says we should break. I want to come back from this bow ban in a way nobody sees coming, a way we can all be proud of. You feel me? I can get with that. Yeah. I feel you. Thank you for doing this. You didn't give me no choice. <laughs> Did you really want one? Thank you for coming to the rescue. Any song. Google Pixel Fold, the only foldable phone engineered by Google. Pre order Google Pixel Fold and get Pixel Watch. A Domino's order carry out online or by phone and get any one topping pizza for $7.99 each. Am I doing this right? Mom, it's just rice. It's really hard to mess up. You'd be surprised. The one time your dad asked me to help, let's just say I was never asked back. <laughs> Do you guys remember the time the dad threw out the entire pot because Liv used vegetable stock instead of chicken stock. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my fault. He bought the wrong thing. <laughs> Ashley, you sure you know what you're doing over there? Green peppers, not Hi. 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 My dad would have loved this. <laughs> Kitchen full of his family and friends cooking his favorite meal. He'd probably even use my mom's rice, which is... So, thank you. Why? I didn't do anything. This has been the worst couple weeks of my life, and every step of the way, you have known exactly what I needed. I'm so grateful to have you. <clears throat> I guess this is your coming out dinner. Huh. <clears throat> I guess so. Ooh, OK, enough. You guys are making me lose my appetite with all this sap. For real, you two need to get a room like ASAP. Bro, they already got a room, and I share a wall with them. OK. Thank you. Oh, okay. Can we get back to cooking? <laughs> Please. Yes. I'm hungry. Yeah. What I was going to say was that. No, chill out. No, oh, no. Chill out. Okay. We go. Uh, okay. Did you leave any food for anyone else? Yep. But I figured as long as your mouth is chewing, it can't be drinking. <laughs> That's one way to approach it. I still feel like there's a lot that's been left unsaid between us since my breakup with Spencer. Yeah, but we ain't got to get into that now. Actually, um, it's important for both my grief and my sobriety to honestly speak up about what I'm feeling. Do I call my mom? Do, do, do we keep her with us all day? I, okay, you know what? <clears throat> Screw it. I'm just going to call our sponsor, and if Liv gets mad, she can get mad, OK? Layla. Hi. Hi. It's good to see you. Yeah. Jordan. You both look like you've seen a ghost. Um, no, sorry. It's just we were literally about to call you. Yeah, uh, how did you know to come here? I called her. I called everyone, actually. If I'm going to get through today and not drink, I'm, I'm going to need my village. At a girl.
last couple of weeks have been really, really hard. Um, last night, I just, I had nothing left. And I would have had a drink if I didn't get help, so. Why didn't you say anything sooner, sweetheart? Because I'm not the only one that lost Dad. And focusing it on me just felt selfish. No one would have thought that, Liv. Okay, we're here now. So how can we help, Olivia? I texted everyone all my usual hiding places for my pills and stuff. Jordan already did a sweep this morning. So I guess just keep checking and keep me honest. Yeah, this is, um, this is all that was left in the house. But that's your dad's. That's from, how did you get that? I took it from his office the night of the memorial. And I've been holding on to it. And, um, I just, I can't keep fighting this alone. You don't have to. We can do regular sweeps. We can take turns driving you to AA. I mean, whatever it takes, honestly. I don't think I can be left alone. Um, well, then we won't leave you alone. We forget that sometimes the answer to filling the biggest void left by your absence is to turn the page and simply keep living. So what, are you gonna tell Patience tomorrow, or? I, yeah, I don't wanna ruin her night. Who is this girl anyway? I mean, I thought she was just some awkward, harmless fangirl, but the truth is we don't know anything about her. Come on, that's funny. It's funny. Me? Since when? What do you want, Olivia? Okay. I need to talk to you about your friend Isaiah, okay? I'm pretty sure Coach Gary put Isaiah in the game to hurt Chomps Taylor. Really, Liv? Isaiah beat up Chomps? Are you that desperate for a story? Garrett's players have a history of hurting guys on the other team to win games. There's proof. I mean, circumstantial proof, but... Were you, were you even watching the game? We didn't win. Yeah, but Chomps going down gave you a chance. I mean, he was destroying you all game before Isaiah took him out. Well, Isaiah protected me by blocking a much bigger guy, okay? He isn't used to throwing blocks like that. So he hit Chomps a little low and got penalized for it. End of story. It is nowhere near the end. Okay, look, I'm trying to do the right thing here, okay? I blindsided you with the weight stuff last semester. I don't want to blindside you again. Thank you so much for the heads up, but you're wrong, okay? Yeah, well, everyone thought it was. Ross has. I can feel you breathe. Get out of that no matter how hard you try. You stuck with me. We're gonna get past all this. Sorrow creeping in. Jay? He's gone. <laughs> My dad is gone. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry this message got way too long, but uh, like you. I had some things I needed to say, and uh, and I'm glad I did. Um, I love you, Spencer James, and I always will. You are my All-American. So, I know you said you needed some time. Um, I'm here whenever you're ready. 